Kia ora whanau. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm guessing you already know this, but Easter is almost upon us. So I thought what I'd do today is show you guys how quick and easy it is to make hot cross buns. So you can cut out the preservatives, you have um, control over what goes in them. So it's a really good option. And just the fact that they are so much yummier than the ones you buy in the shop. You may also notice that I've got the new black limited edition Thermomix on my bench. And in honour of that, I'm also wearing my favourite black t-shirt, which happens to be Yoda. So yeah, if you'd like to get your hands on a black edition Thermomix, they're only for a very limited time. So get in touch, I'd love to help you get one on your bench. Righty-ho, let's start making our um, hot cross buns. So my recipe is on my screen, I'm just going to hit start cooking. So I've skipped past the first few steps. The first few steps are asking you to do um, the zest of a, either a lemon or a lime and you mill that down with them some flour. I'm going to skip those and I'm going to go straight to actually making the dough. I'll show you why when I do it. So into my bowl it's asking me to add 250 grams of full cream milk. So good old blue top. Here we go. So 250. I don't know about you guys, but I love hot cross buns. Um, they are just so yummy. Okay, it's 250 grams. One tablespoon of dried yeast. So, yep, that's one tablespoon. So, one tablespoon of dried yeast. On goes the lid. And this is now going to activate. So it's going to heat to 37 degrees and it's preset to run for three minutes, although I'm thinking we won't need the full three minutes. Okay, we're at temperature, so I'm just going to stop the machine by pressing the big silver button and we're going to go to our next step. So it's asking me to add reserved grated zest and flour mix. So I'm manually just going to add in 100 grams of flour because that was what gets added to the um, zest. So I'm just going to quickly pop into my scales and weigh in 100 grams of flour. And then I'm, instead of the zest, as I said before, what I'm going to do is throw in a tablespoon of my um, glazed, oh actually I might put a little bit more, my, um, my glass aid fruit peel and that goes and now we're going to add another 400 grams of flour so the total amount of flour we're going to put in is 500 so here we go our hassle okay one pinch of salt Seventy grams of butter. I've already pre-weighed my butter. Yum. Fifty grams of caster sugar. And again, if you guys are um, watching your sugar intake, you could reduce the sugar down a bit. But just remember, you will need some sugar for the yeast to activate. Okay, one egg, so it's almost like, um, like a brioche or an enriched dough. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, this is when we get the good stuff guys. So one. And a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. One and a half teaspoons of ground nutmeg. Oh, yum. This is smelling pretty freaking good already. And half a teaspoon of ground cloves. 
So if you like yours a little bit spicier, feel free to put in a bit more of the cloves. On goes the lid. And this is going to mix together for six seconds at speed number seven. Okay, let's see what we got. So our mixture's been brought roughly together. So following the instructions, I am just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Oh, this is smelling magical, guys. Absolutely amazing. Gonna clear off the lid. Wow. It smells like Easter already. Okay. And now before I put the lot in, 100 grams of sultanas. Um, as I said to you guys, I'm going to make some, um, some dried fruit mints. So that's going to go in there. And the next instruction is 70 grams of currants. So I'm going to put 170 grams in total to make up for both of those. Okay. On goes the lid. This is now going dough mode for two minutes. That should be. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh man, guys, this is smelling really, really good. So, the instructions are asking me to preheat my oven to 220. That's a little bit soon for me, so I'm going to skip this step. It's asking me to line a baking tray ready to put the buns on. But what I am going to do is um, take my dough out and put it on my dough mat. So I'm just going to tip it upside down. And again, we're going to use our technical term, which is a twiddle. Oh, yum. That is amazing. Because it's quite a wet dough and it's going to stick to the bowl, I'm just going to grab my spatula and just get it all out. So another tip you can do to help clear the blades is I'm going to put this back on, put my lid on. just going to exit my recipe temporarily by pressing the home key. And I'm just going to run my blade at, I don't know, speed 8 for a couple of seconds. Here we go. And what that's going to do, that's going to fling all the dough off the blade. So now the, the blade is clear. i just got to scrape around the sides. So the next step of this recipe is we are going to form this into a ball and we're going to wait for it to prove until it's about doubled in size. So the recipe says that should take about half an hour. So what I'm going to do is put my dough into a nice ball. I'm just going to cover it with my, with my silica dough mat. And this is now going to sit, and I'm going to let it prove just in the dough mat. So I'll come back when that's ready. See ya. Hello, hello, we're back. Okay, so my dough has ended up taking about 45 minutes to double in size. It's smelling pretty good. Look at that, guys. Oh, looks so yummy. Okay, so let's carry on with our recipe. So now it's asking me to knock down the dough and to divide it into 12 equal portions. Okay, so I've got my 12 roughly equal sized buns now. And what I'm going to do is put these into my baking tray ready to go in the oven. So I'm going to put them so they're quite close together. Because when they're going to cook, they're going to um, grow together and stick together. Okay, so those are my 12 buns sitting there ready to go. Let's carry on with the recipe. So 
So, I'm leaving my bugs to do a second proof, and now I'm going to do the, the, um, the crosses that go on top. So the recipe is asking me to add 80 grams of plain flour into the bowl. Get scales. So it's about two tablespoons. Maybe a bit more. Cool. One pinch of salt. One teaspoon of olive oil. And finally, 100 grams of water. On goes the lid. This is now going to uh, mix together for 30 seconds at speed number four. So what I'm going to do now is get, the, get, get my piping set up. So what I've got from the mix shop is disposable piping bags. Um, you can also go to a $2 shop and get those little bottles, you can just chop the end off. Oh, there's so many things you can do to do this, but this is my method. So I've got a pack of 100 here, I'm just going to pull out one of these. I'm going to open up my bag and I'm going to put it in the jug and I'm going to put the white top open just like that. Okay, so this is our mixture ready to go on the uh, piping bag. asking me to chop the chop the fine end off and then we're going to use this now and we're going to make our crosses on top of our bugs. Wish me luck. Okay here we go. Or the end one, the end one looks a bit disastrous. But yeah, so these are my crosses. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to leave this for another 10 minutes or so to double proof my dough. And then these are going to go into a 220 degree oven to cook for between 10 and 15 minutes. So I'll come back when that's done. Alrighty, guys, how's that? Yum, these are looking so good. So what I've got going in my Thermomix at the moment, I have got two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of water. So that's been cooking at 100 degrees for about two minutes. Oh, in fact, um, I use raw sugar in mine. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my sugar syrup and I'm just gonna brush it over the top of my hot cross buns. And that's gonna give it that lovely glaze. Alright. So, the instructions say to um, allow these to cool on the tray for five minutes and then put them on a cooling rack and then as soon as they're cool enough to handle, you can just pretty much eat them. So, there are my hot cross buns guys, I hope you guys give this a go.